Director General of the Africa Department at the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Wu Ping, has urged the international community to assist in the medical supply, technology and funding of vaccines on the continent. Wu Ping stressed that it was crucial to start the manufacturing of COVID-19 vaccines on the African continent, adding that aid alone cannot solve the issue of vaccine in Africa. In the meantime, the head of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okunjo Iwele, has warned that waiving intellectual property rights for COVID-19 vaccines will not be enough to close the huge supply gap between rich and poor countries. Data shows that poorer countries, which make up half the world's population, have received 17% of doses, a situation the World Health Organization has labeled vaccine apathide. Now, fully vaccinated people have been advised to still wear a mask and observe social distancing in public. WHO Europe Director Hans Klug said on Thursday that neither testing nor receiving vaccines is a substitute for adherence to COVID-19 safety measures. Talking figures, the total coronavirus confirmed cases have reached 166 million with 3.4 million deaths on record. Meanwhile, an update by the National Primary Health Care Development Agency indicates that 38,351 persons received COVID-19 vaccinations on Wednesday, raising the total number of vaccinated clients to more than 1.8 million, with a proportion of 93.5%. Away from health, Israel unleashed another wave of airstrikes across Gaza early Thursday, killing at least one Palestinian and wounding several. And Hamas fired more rockets even as expectations rose that a ceasefire could be coming. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has pushed back against calls from the United States to wind down the Gaza offensive. However, officials close to the negotiations say they expect a truce to be announced in the next 24 hours. A giant slab of ice has carved from the frozen edge of Antarctica into the Weldon Sea, becoming the largest iceberg afloat in the world. The European Space Agency measures the iceberg at 175 kilometers long and 25 kilometers wide, and is slightly larger than the Spanish island of Maloca. That's a global update. I am Joyce Ikogu.